Hey guys, we are back with the Mike and Mike mailbag, and we got a special guest host this time, Zach Boychuk. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks for bringing me along, rookie. <laughs> what do you have to do on a daily basis as a rookie? Oh, clean the bus. That's probably the worst thing. Yeah. Hurting all those cheer from Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give the rookies a real hard time. I'm. Uh, I, I took it pretty hard last year, so I, I give it even harder to them. Yeah, I heard you were one of the worst rookies. Oh, rookies the worst rookies. Year. No, I'm the, I was the best rookie last year. I won the award for that, best rookie. So. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, a, we got a couple of questions for Zag, and he's going to answer them. Then he's going to ask me a couple of ones, too. So the first question is from Alex Franzen. Uh, what's your favorite part about hockey in the South? Well, it's got to be number one, the warm weather. I, I remember playing in Albany last year, and uh, by the time, uh, obviously, October rolls around, it's getting pretty cold, and you can't golf anymore. You can't do all the fun things that we, that we do this year. We were uh, golfing in November uh, here in Charlotte, so the warm weather, number one, and, and I think down in North Carolina, the people are, are amazing. All the, all, the, all the people around here are very nice and they're very uh, warming. So that's got to be uh, the, the best thing about playing down here. All right, we got uh, another question for Cardiac Kane. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing? Uh, probably playing ping pong professionally. Actually, no, no, no. Um, my dad, my dad's in the in the hotel business, so okay. um, it's kind of a family business. My grandpa has owned hotels for a long time, and now my dad actually uh, has made his own company of hotels. They're called the R and R Inns, and uh, he's got them all over uh, Alberta. So that's probably the line of work that I'd be in. I'd be helping out, uh, helping build, and helping uh, find investors. And well, actually, no, I don't know if I'm smart enough for that, but I I definitely. Uh, be part of the family business. What would you be doing? I don't know. I'd probably be the lawyer. Lawyer? Yeah, I think. Really? I think, yeah, I can handle smart things, you know, and help the people. Are you a good arg argument? Like, are you good at arguing or what? Uh, yeah. Debate? Were you on the debate team in high school or what? <laughs> we don't have those back home. You don't have that? Oh. You know Just uh, in the U.S.? Yeah, I, I, I would definitely battle for my, for my people, you know? Nice, nice. I would hire you. <laughs> What's your favorite number? I don't know. 23, Michael Jordan? Yeah, I used to play That's with That's what number you should be. Is, does anybody in, on the team wear number 23? Yeah, it's Cedric. Cedric wears number 23? Well, that's what the Sevy did. Like, Sevy and Dave just picked, he didn't, picked the 29. He didn't realize that your name was Michael Jordan I and so. you're playing in North Carolina. I guess so. You should be wearing number 23. I don't really mind it, though. I mean, you know, my I, like, 29? I, I like 29 better than I like think it suits you. Two, three, four, whatever. Are you going to mm -hmm. stick with 29 next year? I don't know. Yeah, seems like. Because you're not a rookie next year. I know. I can pick up whatever I want. You'll, you'll be the super sophomore. <laughs> You know, have you, a good rookie year. What are you going to be next year? <laughs> Super um, vet. 11. I'm 11 forever. All right, fans, you, uh, you figure out for sure uh, when I did the John Cena thing, the WWE coming to the... WWE. <laughs> coming to the Charlotte, and uh, it's this Tuesday, and uh, I think it's around 7 o'clock, so make sure you're going to be here, because, like, I'm pretty sure some of the boys are going to be in from I think the the, in the here. whole team is gonna go, maybe. Yeah, probably. We so. got a lot of big wrestling fans. So. Yeah, lots of wrestling fans. All yeah. the guys watched it growing up as kids, and then we got uh, these shirts right here, the Boom Squad, which is pretty sweet. We got a big show. The big show. You like the big show? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> go big or get lost. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all the boys are gonna be out, and we're gonna be. Wearing our hats, cool hats that we just got, and our sweet shirts. And, oh, yeah. And we're going to be... Can't uh, wait. Can't wait to drop this bad boy on. <laughs> Probably look way better than that purple shirt you're but, wearing. <laughs> but I'm actually big already, eh? Yeah, so yeah. I'm not going to be lost. You don't have to get lost. I'm not going to be lost. You're, you're already big. What, what your name would be from the wrestling, if you can, like, find out? What would my wrestling name be? Yeah. Ooh. 
That's a tough one. Probably like the Zack attack or something. Something crazy. I'd have like a pretty good finishing move. Zack attack? So we just get like... I would attack like probably... Like Zack? Like angrily. Oh, like really? Just like, like crazy and scare people. I don't know. Wow. What, would, what, do you th what do you think your wrestling name would be? Sucker Punch MJ. <laughs> Sucker Punch MJ? <laughs> All right, Checkers fans, we're gonna wrap up. I wanna thanks a lot to Zach Boychak, <laughs> he came and uh, he chit chat with me a little bit. Yeah, that was fun. So I really I had, appreciate it. I had a came. good time um, interrupting the Murphy's mailbag. I know Murph's probably gonna be a little jealous that I got to be on the show, but. I just learned a new line today. I was listening some songs from 90s and I heard, I don't remember what song was it, but don't chase the waterfall, stay with the river. Yeah, we'll, so. end, on, we'll end on that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I so like it. <laughs> stick up with that, Checkers fans. <laughs>